Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hi, guys. Why did I click on that? Julian, I will read that. Uh, history recommendations. Um, ooh, geography now. That could be the one. Berlin Wall could also be another one. Uh, but let, let's it. let's do uh, the Geography Now video first, shall we? Uh, Croatia? Perfect. This episode is brought to you by Live Me. Preemptive like. Uh, I love this channel. I've reacted to many videos from Geography Now. Um, the original link to the video, top of the description, below that link to the Discord that you just saw right there. Just click on the link. It'll send you right over there. It makes it easier for me to see your recommendations and interact with you. Get to know you better, you know. Let's learn Croatia. Yes, Game of Thrones was filmed here. It's time to learn geography now. Hey everyone, I'm your host Barbie. We are back in Europe and today we are gonna discuss 101 Dalmatian Islands. Ha! Actually, it's more like 580, <laughs> but first. Ha! The flag of Croatia is a little bit more fun and jubilant than most flags because it has the nice iconic flag. checker pattern in the center. First of all, the flag is a horizontal tricolor that utilizes the pan-Slavic colors of red, white, and blue in equally sized stripes. So many the blue countries stands for have freedom and hope. The white stands for peace and unity, and the red, red white, stands blue. for eh, the revolution and sacrifices. In the middle is the coat of arms with the iconic shahovnica or the checkerboard <laughs> shield pattern with red and white squares, sometimes referred to as the checky. Some will say that this is because long ago there were like two Croatia. One was called Red Croatia, one was called White Croatia, with little evidence supporting that theory. There are five shields on top of the Cheki that form a crown above the Shahovnica, each one representing the historical regions of Croatia. The first one is for Croatia proper, with a crescent oh, and a... Oh, kind of like, uh... Spain, right? Like Castile, Leon thing? Each one representing the historical regions of Croatia. The first one is for Croatia proper with a crescent and a six-pointed star. Dubrovnik with two red stripes on a dark blue shield. Dalmatia with three crowned leopard heads. Illustria with a golden goat with red hooves because, hey, why not? And finally, Slavonia with a six-pointed star, two silver stripes, and a pine marten running on a red field between the silver stripes. Yeah, for such a small country, those five regions have had an impactful historical upbringing. Let's discuss more about that in... First off, before we jump in, you might hear a lot of other countries, specifically in the Slavic world, using the word Hrvatska, referring to this country, instead Hrvatska. of Croatia, to a lesser extent. It's kind of like that whole thing with Germany. Visa and Deutschland. Oh, you mean Germany? Alemang? Tiskland. Yamsa? Saksa? Nein! First off, Croatia is located on the western part of the Balkan Peninsula in southern Europe, bordered by Slovenia, Hungary, Serbia, hugging Bosnia and Herzegovina, giving them a small coast on the town of Neum, and just barely have a 10-mile or 16-kilometer wide border with Montenegro at the southern most tip of the country on the Adriatic Sea. The country is divided into 20 counties, and the country's capital is Zagreb. Fun side note, the small Bosnian Herzegovinian port of Neum splits the country's Dalmatian coast, technically creating an exclave for the Dubrovnik Neretva area. So... I was gonna say, is there a bridge there? But that still wouldn't get you. Okay, so you can't get here without taking a ferry or going through Bosnia? And Herzegovina. Yeah. They were splits the country's Dalmatian coast, technically creating an exclave for the Dubrovnik Neretva area. They were thinking of building a bridge on the Pelishats Peninsula so the entire country would be navigable by road, but plans were canceled in 2012. Speaking of which, historically, Croatia was divided into four general regions. You'll probably hear a lot about these if you go to Croatia. They are Croatia proper, Istria, Slavonia, and Dalmatia. Speaking of which, Dalmatian dogs are said to have origins in Dalmatia, hence Dalmatian. Okay, no more rabbit trails. We really need to get back on top. Now, of course, because of its complex complicated past that we really don't have a lot of time to discuss. Croatia Sorry. has quite a few land and sea disputes, as well as enclaves and exclaves, but I'm just going to list some of the most notable ones. The Bay of Piran, the Dragona River, the Sveta Gera, all that mess on the Mura and Drava rivers. Then we get to Serbia, and it looks like earphones that were just pulled out of your pocket. The funny thing is, nobody really pays much attention to these places, which is why when outsiders do, funny things happen. Back in 2015, a Czech guy came in and self-proclaimed his own micronation called Liberland on the supposedly unclaimed island in the Danube. He was totally arrested. But he wasn't the only one. Two other guys tried unsuccessfully to attempt the same thing on separate islands and failed. The country has have? over a thousand islands on the Adriatic coast, even though only about 50 of them are inhabited. The largest ones being Kres and Kirk, which even though Croatia ranks around 125 in country landmass, it's all the way up to spot 20 in coastline length. That's more than Sweden and South Africa combined. In your face, Mongolia. By the way, homework. More than Sweden. 
the reason I say I'm surprised about so the reason I'm saying I'm surprised about Sweden is because I'm pretty sure Sweden has the most islands of any country in the world. And so having many islands means you count the coastline of the entirety of each of those islands. Um, but yeah, South Africa seems pretty smooth. Sweden and South Africa. I heard there's like a, there's a weird thing like when measuring coastlines, like the paradox, depending on how short of a scale length you, you use along it. Africa country landmass, it's all the way up to spot 20 in coastline length. That's more than Sweden and South Africa combined. In your face, Mongolia. By the way, homework assignment, see if you can find this heart-shaped island off of Croatia's coast. Zagreb may be the oh capital, but people come here to see Pula, Zadar, Split, and Dubrovnik. The Croatian coast is acclaimed by many to be by far one of the most captivating places in the entire world to visit, especially to witness a sunset. Oh yeah, and Zadar has a strange thing called a sea organ that looks and sounds like this. Okay, let's talk about plants and Almost animals and like stuff now, shall Caribbean. we? Okay, so Croatia may be primarily known for its coast. However, that doesn't mean that there aren't any notable features inland. Although a lot of the land outside of urban centers is used for farming, Croatia still retains some world-renowned nature zones and national parks. First of all, the country is kind of split along the Dinaric Alps that meander diagonally across the northwest regions all the way to the south along the border of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The division kind of encapsulates the inner flatter areas that slope down into the Pannonian Basin where all the rivers like the mighty Danube flow. Because of this division, Croatia experiences quite a contrast in climate even though the country takes up a small area. Zagreb can be completely different from Dubrovnik at any given time. About half of the entire country is made up of karst topography, which is basically another word for dissolved, cavey, limestoney ground that erodes into fascinating shapes and providing a network of sub- basically cavey area. Just like we studied in Bulgaria, Croatia is loaded with caves. It's not that hard to find them and many of them are absolutely breathtaking. Caves like the Blue Grotto on Bishevo Island and the incredibly deep Velebit Caves that go down nearly 1400 meters. Ah, uh, that's Cute. The one place that everyone in Georgia. Croatia will proudly boast over will be the famous Plitvici National Park, which contains the Plitvici waterfalls and lakes, which is where the coolest music duo on the planet, Stephen <gasps> Hauser and Luke. Oh my god, these guys are Croatian! Two cellos! Park, which contains the Plitvici waterfalls and lakes, which is where. Okay, I love Croatia. Croatia is awesome. I love these guys. Where the coolest over leaders. Uh, Mombasa, also their. Um. Uh. Thunderstruck is one of uh, one, what is, what are the great ones. Um, the U2 song, the U2. Also, Smooth Criminal. Look up those guys if you guys haven't heard. Uh, th those guys are awesome. Ah, uh, that's cute. The one place that everyone in Croatia lakes, which is where the coolest music duo on the planet, Stephen Hauser and Luka Šulić, filmed their Mumford and Sons cover video. I haven't seen that yet. I gotta watch that. I can't believe I missed you guys like a month ago when you came into my town and did a concert. Ah! Sorry, mm -hmm. I love two cellos. They're a great band. What? I can like music. Croatia I love also them. has that small Georgievetsky desert and a wide range of wildlife such as bats, otters, elk, boar, martens, wolves, and that incredibly rare Eurasian lynx, the largest land cat in Europe that can be found here as well. The coast, though, once again, takes the center stage when it comes to Croatia's spotlight moment. Because of its islands and coast, Croatia has had a huge boost in tourism in the past two decades, an industry that outsiders That'd didn't exactly we have access to prior history. for the longest time, and the reason why will be discussed in... Croatia has a really, really long history on who it is and how it got to where it is now, and I'm just going to summarize it in like eight seconds. Roman Empire, uh, split, now it's in East Roman Empire, now it's in Byzantine Empire, now, now it's in Ottoman Empire, now it's in... Now it's in Yugoslavia. Now it's not. Now it's Roman Empire, Kingdom, Subordinate, Empire State, Wars with Turkey, Yugoslavia 1, Nazi Puppet, Yugoslavia 2, Civil War, and finally, European Union member. See, that wasn't so hard. You forgot the Illyrians! First of all, the country has about 4.5 million people and is actually one of the 30 or so countries experiencing a population decline. The country is made up almost entirely of ethnic <laughs> Croats, around 91%. Bosnian. Serbs make up about 5%, and the rest Slovenian. is a slew of other people groups, mostly Slavs. Slavic, but toss in a few Italians, Jews, and why not some Chinese, and hey, you got Croatia. Now, like mentioned in the Bosnia and Herzegovina episode, pretty much everybody in the Slavic Balkan nations can understand each other, especially these four countries. The only difference is that these two write in the Cyrillic alphabet, and these two write in the Latin alphabet. It's a Oh, Serbia, Croatia, Bosnia, Albania? Or am I wrong there? Is that Macedonia, Montenegro? I, I need, I'm bad with flags. 
these four countries. The only difference is that these two write in the Cyrillic alphabet and these two write in the Latin alphabet. It's a little more difficult for these four countries to understand the remaining Baltic states like Slovenes and Bulgarians and Macedonians. <gasps> I mean, the former Yugoslav Republic. Uh, just call them Macedonians. I don't care why you are. Why you're just claiming I'm not even part of you. I'm not part of you. You think I am? Guys, can we get back to my episode? Shut up, Croatia. Nonetheless, the funny thing is, pretty much all Slavs, whether they're from Russia, Poland, or the Czech Republic, which, by the way, just changed its English name to Czechia, or the Balkan Slavs, can all pretty much hold a basic, simple conversation with each other and get by if they speak really slow and articulate well. It would be like if a Jamaican guy tried to speak to a Singlish-speaking guy. Behind the statue, the coffee shop with the boom boom. No, I see it's on the right side oh, of the statue. The statue, I'm gonna look behind. I'm gonna look alright, man. Alama, you look behind. Me. How am I gonna know what you said? Why you said behind? Alama, no la. You know this is right, this is left. You're very simple, why? They're right, I... Okay, they're right. Singapore? Okay. All y'all had to say is they're right, not behind. Clear now. Yalla, clear already la. Alama. I mean, the Jamaican was much more intelligible. Uh, give you right. simple instruction, also don't know. You are clear now. Kill our win already, la. Guys, that was Kevin and Layton. Give him a round of applause. Another quick way you can tell the Slavic Balkan states apart is the denomination. Croats and Slovenes are predominantly Catholic, while Serbs and Montenegrins are typically Orthodox. Uh, Croatians maybe. love water polo and don't even get started on the whole Nikola Tesla thing. He was a Serb. But he was born here. But he was a Serb. Everybody but knows Nikola, Nikola Tesla. I thought he was American. America lies to me yet again, or I just didn't pay attention. Anyone who's really smart, uh, America likes to say is American. He was born here! <laughs> Essentially, Croatia went from the fall of Yugoslavia and socialism in the 90s and the civil war in the mid-90s to being labeled as the top travel destination by Lonely Planet in 2000-something. I think it was like 2005. Dude, Paul, seriously, we gotta check our sources. You're making us look bad. Shut up, Brandon. I'm doing my best. Let's talk about Croatia's friends. In order to understand Croatia's friends, you're gonna have to look at two things, business and religion. USA? First of all, their neighbors. When it comes to Serbia and Croatia, it's kind of like- Why Why Serbia, Croatia? Serbia? I don't Why get it. Ah. Ooh, damn. <laughs> Croatia and Serbia so have a lot of historical beef, but they hate to kind of admit that they secretly are kind of a little bit totally attracted and hot for each other. Business and diplomacy is still very big between these two, and ultimately they still cooperate pretty well. I was told that typically they even give each other a lot of points in Eurovision or Shut something up, like no, that. Kiss me. That just proves it. Eurovision proves everything. Slovenia was like a good friend that still held a few grudges since Slovenia was the first to join the EU, and they originally vouched for Croatia, but then they were like, wait, before you get in, we gotta settle some disputes, otherwise I'm blocking you. And they did. And then it, got it does sort of seem like Croatia and Italy are are nudging Slovenia out of having a coastline. Before you get in, we gotta settle some disputes, otherwise I'm blocking you. And they did. And then it got messy. And then it got fixed. The end. By default, Croatia has an affinity for Never Catholic dominated end. countries like Italy, Spain, and Ireland, especially the Irish, since they kind of empathize with the whole struggle with the UK. And they are totally fangirls of the Vatican. When it comes to their best friends, however, they would probably say Germany and Poland. Germany is a really close friend since they are kind of seen as like the promised land after so many Croatians moved in and made fortunes there. Germany Germans also love visiting and doing business. Without a doubt though, Croatians love it when the Polish stop by. They're like the best friend who lives far away but Skypes every week and sees them twice a year. On top of that, Pope John Paul II was from Poland who liked Croatia so much that he visited three times. In conclusion, Croatia is kind of like the surfer cousin of the Slavic countries. After all the drama subsided, he opened up a hotel and a tiki bar on the beach, got a tan and was all like, what's up world? Come take a vacation in Croatia. Stay tuned. Cuba is coming up next. Hey, John Creeps, so I'm just got a second sponsor. Download the Live Me app if you'd like to live stream with me. I try to go on as much as I possibly can. Also, feel free to help us out on Patreon. You get some cool behind the scenes geography now, uh, information and stuff like that. Feel free to subscribe to this channel, Jeff, by just clicking on this box. And thanks so much for all the support, guys. So help out on either Live Me, Patreon, or just subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. Seems like such a cool guy. Um really cool awesome sorry i paused a lot i just i have a lot to say sometimes and i can't control myself love all y'all watching uh i can't wait to see your comments especially if you are croatian um would really like to see your comments but hey a anyone would love to see it love you guys see you next time if you're not doing well well that's your problem no i hope you're doing well and uh if not chin up emotions are fickle see you next time bye guys